Okay, we're going to do lesson 4-9, which is solving a hidden question, which really just means it's a two-step word problem. So let's take a look at the worksheet here. Emily brought two bottles of water. Cullen brought two packs of water with three bottles in each pack. How many bottles did they buy in all? Well, what you want to do is add up the number of bottles that Emily bought and the number of bottles that Cullen bought and put them together to see how many they bought in all. However, they're not really telling us how many bottles Cullen bought. So we need to first figure out the number of bottles of water that Cullen bought. So he bought two packs of water with three bottles in each pack. So that's two packs, and there's three bottles in each one. So two groups of three equals, write it down. Good. So Cullen bought six bottles of water. Now we know that Cullen bought six bottles of water. Emily bought two. So we can do two plus six, which is the amount that Emily bought, plus Cullen bought and we can get eight. So Emily and Colin bought eight bottles of water all together. Just a two-step problem. You just have to figure out how many bottles Colin bought before you can put them together. Okay, let's do the same thing down here. Juan and Alba bought supplies for the class party. Juan brought three bottles of juice. So Juan is three bottles. Alba brought two bottles of the same juice. Okay, so we got one is three, Alba is two. Juan and Alba together spent $15. How much did each bottle of juice cost? Okay, we can take $15 and we can divide it by the number of bottles that we bought that cost the $15, but first we have to figure out how many that is. So we need to add three plus two, and we're gonna get five bottles, right? Here's what Juan bought and what Alba bought. So they bought a total of five bottles, and that those five bottles cost $15. So now we can do $15 divided by the five bottles, and what times five equals 15, write that down. should be three. <clears throat> so we have a total of 15. We have our five bottles. If they each cost three, three groups of five is 15. So each bottle costs three. You need to make sure it makes sense and you don't have, you know, 15 in here and that 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 equals 15. That does not make sense. So it needs to make sense. All right. The 21 students in Jamie's class were at a summer camp. 14 of the students played soccer at a park. The rest, not the 20, not the 14, went to a crafts class where each student painted two pots. How many pots did these students paint? Well, okay, we're gonna take the number of students that went to paint and we're gonna multiply it times two pots. But the question is, how many students went to paint? So how are you gonna figure that out? Pause it and see if you can figure that out. Okay, so you should do 21 minus 14 because you have a total of 21 students. 14 of them went to play soccer. Therefore, the rest of them are doing the crafts. So that means that seven students are doing crafts and each of those seven students make two pots. So there should be a total of 14 painted pots. All right, good job.